Welcome back, YouTube. <clears throat> or, you know, viewers or whatever. Mission 2. I want to do some talking after, uh, after this mission. Or after a second. Back again. I say practice makes perfect. To explain I'm my experience. Proof. I took my marksmanship test until I went from zero to a perfect score. Okay, not a perfect score, but I qualified. You should go talk to Sergeant Dow to start. When you're done, come talk to me again and I'll give you a ride back to base. Well, a good sniper often does not fire a shot, but serves as the eyes for his unit, observing and reporting enemy movement. Marksmanship may be important to a sniper, but observation and stealth are equally as important. Your qualification exercise will require you to infiltrate the Op 4 camp, identify key targets, and then reach your exfil point without being detected. To learn more about stealth, talk to Sergeant Kirchner. To learn more about being observant, talk to Sergeant Thornton. Stop to all of them real quick. I talked to Hurt to start the mission. For the exercise. The ability to remain unseen is one of the most important <laughs> skills a sniper can possess. In combat or on recon, your greatest asset is your invisibility. To increase your stealth ability, invest skill points in the stealth skill in your personnel jacket. A good sniper can remain in a concealed location almost indefinitely if he has food and water. The faster you move, the less stealthy you are. The best way to remain hidden is to lie prone behind a solid object. But if you need to move, you should low crawl. Firing your weapon is the best way to reveal your location. Anyone looking your direction will be able to acquire you. Keep your wits about when trying to remain stealthy. Stay out of the enemy's field of view as much as possible. Stay low and don't move too fast. That's the basics on being stealthy. Talk to Sergeant okay. Thornton about your skills and observation. Or talk to Sergeant Hurt to qualify for your stalking exercise. The key to an effective squad has always been a good awareness of the environment. As a sniper, you will be expected to provide superior awareness through your observation of the battlefield. To increase your observation ability, invest skill points in the observation skill in your personnel jacket. Most enemies will not be trained in stealth. You can acquire their positions by watching for their movement, or from the firing of their weapons. However, you will occasionally be called upon to engage targets that have training, and will have to work a bit harder to acquire them. While you may have an enemy in your field of view, your peripheral vision is not as acute. You can spot an enemy better if you're looking directly at them, or ideally through a pair of binoculars. Equip the binoculars by selecting them from the loadout menu. Press and hold the Y button to open the menu. Select your rifle again when you are finished. Many game objectives require that you observe them through a binocular or scoped weapon. Report to Sergeant Hurt. Here's my binoculars. There's my smoke, and there's my night vision goggles. Night vision, binoculars, smoke, and rifle. Welcome to field craft training, Private. If you want to get a refresher on stealth and observation, then go talk to Sergeants Kirchner and Thornton. You want to make another record attempt? Fine. Listen to me carefully this time. To qualify for the field craft portion of your sniper qualification, you must maneuver to Checkpoint Violet without being positively identified by the Op 4 soldiers. This qualification simulates a recon mission. You must positively identify and report as many Op 4 soldiers and Op 4 equipment as possible. You'll be evaluated on the time taken to complete your objective and your thoroughness in your reconnaissance. If you're positively identified by the opposing forces, then you will have failed the exercise. When you're ready to start the clock, speak to me. The clock has started. Begin. Excuse me. Now, as you guys know, I don't do walkthroughs. But if I'm playing a game or let's play a game where I have completed certain levels beforehand just to see how they were, then I may talk through those. Just, you know, I may walk you through those, those missions. But normally I don't do walkthroughs. But. If you have this game, or if you're thinking about getting this game, or or you know you're thinking about 
playing it or whatever. The clock is running, Private. This is a record test. Better get moving. Slow crawling takes time. <laughs> all of these, uh, all the objectives. The, the, Move the, it, Private. Shut up. The thing that really uh had me distraught because I was I, I was ready to quit the, quit the let's play when I first tried this mission as well. I was like, oh, I can't do this right here. I thought that for some stupid reason that I had to scan all of the objects in yellow and there's a lot of them and collect all of the documents to progress the level many game that objectives isn't true. require that you observe them through a binocular or scoped weapon that isn't true all you really have to do is get to the star I think maybe you have to scan at least one or two targets but you don't have to really you don't have to scan everything subject acquired if uh, the only thing you really get from scanning everything is is that you get a higher score to progress through the level you just need to uh from what I understand I could be wrong but don't take this as fact but from what I understand to get through the level or to just progress to the next level you just need to uh make it to a certain part of the on the map after maybe at least scanning one or two items I'm trying to scan that Hummer just to say I did something gotta get a little closer but yeah like once I figured that out I was I was super relieved objective acquired there and that's all I want to do for that part And also, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't realize this until reading the walkthrough that I could actually go this way. <coughs> I thought I had to go this way while avoiding, you know, the guy in the tower and the guy patrolling. But no, I can go this way. Come on, and I'll just scan this tower right here. The way I do it is I just I just scan things along the way. Subject acquired. You know, but if you want to increase your 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 score or increase your uh, your rank or the amount of skill points that you'll get at the end of uh this mission, then yeah, it's it's best to scan as many as many targets as possible, <coughs> if not all of them. Yeah, once I realized that, Montana's then I the then I was thinking, I was like, hmm, okay, well, maybe it won't be so bad. Maybe I can complete this game. I mean, I know I know I can complete the game. It's just, you know how I feel about spending too much time on on, on let's plays. I don't like to get stuck too much when I'm doing a let's play because I do have other games that I want to do, especially now that uh now that I'm doing shooters you know for the most part I have a lot of shooters that I want to do so let's wait till he turns his back and then we're going to break for it alright let's go don't really want to run too much but you know whatever just want to get over this hill okay sometimes the alarm will go off you know but uh, as long as you're not seen I, I, I know that makes no sense but like sometimes the alarm went off for like a few seconds, then it then it turned off, and I was still in the mission. So, subject acquired. Sometimes you hear an alarm, but uh, as long as nobody sees you, and there's some documents over here, right over there on that desk. But again, that's optional. And yeah, all you have to do is just uh, stay out of sight. It's not really that hard. Especially if you're just trying to do the bare minimum. I'm so gonna spot him. <laughs> See? It goes off, but mission not failed. I, w I wasn't detected by anyone. I guess they, they sound the alarm whenever they hear a noise as well. Or, you know... I guess, uh people in the tower will sound the alarm whenever they hear something whereas the people that are walking I don't know they just 
you know, come over and, and just observe, observe the, uh, the noise or whatever. And I'll scan this one as well. Even though I know what to do on this mission, subject acquired. I'll still be surprised if I actually clear it on the on the first try. I mean, I I, I hope I do. That'd be nice. Cause I don't I don't feel like doing this mission a second time or redoing the mission. But if I have to, I have to. I know the gist of what I'm supposed to do, anyways. So. I thought I heard something. Yikes. This guy right here. Hopefully he won't see me. Good. Okay. So now... I kind of want to sprint, but like I, I, I don't know what's ahead, so I'm like, I'm just very antsy right now, or whatever. Very nervous. Not nervous, but I don't want to get reckless, especially when I'm almost at the end. And this guy will eventually turn his back. There he goes. So. Almost there. Almost there. I said I just had to make it to the desk and I'm good. Yes. And I believe there's another mission. Like a Well oh, done. A but you didn't beat your last score. If you want to increase your rating, you'll have to qualify again. Yeah, I don't want to do that right there. But uh supposedly when I was reading the walkthrough uh, it if you get it on, if you if you complete it on expert, it, you know if you scan all the targets or whatever, well, while remaining undetected, there's a uh, another mission you can do. I don't know what for. I mean, I mean, I, I, mean, I, I, I don't know the point of it, but supposedly the mission takes 48 hours, like for, 40 in-game and real-world hours, and you're looking for this target. And you have 20 minutes to like identify him and kill him or whatever. And I'm not doing that right there. That's just stupid. In fact, this guy right here. The ability to remain unseen is one of the most important Sorry. skills a sniper can possess. In combat or on recon, you're the key to an effective squad has always been a good awareness of the environment. Congratulations. Talk to Private Vincent for a ride out of here. There was a guy here somewhere. Well done. But you didn't beat your last score. If you want to increase your rating, you'll have to qualify again. The key to an effective squad has always been a good awareness of... I think it was this guy right here. But, but if, you, if you score high enough and you get expert, there's a guy you can talk to about doing that, that mission. Ready to go back? I don't care about it. You qualified. Congratulations. Yeah, I got advanced on my first try myself. But just qualifying is pretty good. I'll give you a lift back to post. Alright, let's get out of here. And I took points out of my observation. I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I can... Redistri redistribution limit 7. Okay, so I can take some off of... Uh... No, 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 no. Let's go back again. I could take some off of... A little off of conditioning. All right, and next we have a real mission. So hopefully all goes well. I'll see you guys next video.